Dear students, as I was telling you that there was an incident which brought about the existence of Earth and other planets and this planetary system we are living in. So about that incident we are reading now. We believe, however, that some 2000 million years ago this rare incident took place and that another star wandering blindly through space happened to come near the sun. So it happened 200, 2000 million years ago. If we multiply 2000 with million, it would be 2 Arab. So 2 Arab years ago it happened that a star came near the sun. So as it came near the sun, what it did? Just as the sun and moon raised tide on the earth, so this second star must have raised tide on the surface of the sun. As it happens that when there is a full moon, so it raises tides on the surface of the earth in the ocean. So similarly, the, that star too raised tides on the surface of the sun. Tides mean waves. But they would be very different from the little tides which the small mass of the moon raises in our oceans. But the tide raised by the star were very different than those of the small moons, small mass of moons, which moon raises in our oceans. So what happened when the star comes near the sun, as it is the second question of your book, given in your exercise of your book, what happened when a wandering star came near the sun? When a wandering star came near the sun, it raised huge tides on the surface of the sun. We have already studied here. It raised huge tides on the surface of the sun. It is quite easy to understand and learn these questions too. An immense tidal wave, immense mean huge, tidal wave mean huge wave, must have traveled over the surface of the sun. When the star came near the sun, a huge wave traveled over the surface of the sun, at last forming a mountain so high that we, can't hardly, we can hardly imagine. As the star came nearer the sun, the tidal wave raised on the surface of the sun was so high that it, was, it, it became a mountain. It became like a mountain and it was such a big mountain that we couldn't even imagine. Here we are dealing with the three questions, question number three of your book. What happened when a wandering star came nearer and nearer? When it came nearer and nearer, what happened then? As the cause of the disturbance. Cause of the disturbance mean that star which was coming nearer the sun. As the cause of the disturbance came nearer and nearer, the mountain would raise, rise higher and higher. What happened? When the when a wandering star came nearer and nearer, the mountain on the surface of the sun rise, rose higher and higher. So this is the answer to the question number three. What happened? The mountain on the surface of the sun rose higher and higher. And before the second star began to move away again, its tidal pull had become so powerful that the mountain was torn to pieces and threw off small parts of itself onto space. It was a stage that the star didn't move back and what happened that because of the power of attraction the mountain that was that was made on the surface of the sun big, uh, that was torn into pieces because of the power of attraction and those pieces scattered around the sun. These small pieces have been going around the sun ever since. Since then these small pieces of the mountain that was made on the surface of the sun just because of the power of attraction of a star coming near the sun, these small pieces started have, have been moving around the sun since then. They are the planets, great and small, of which our earth is one. So our earth is one of them and all of those pieces are called planets. So the question number four is here. So what are the what are planets and how did they come into existence? What are planets? These are the parts moving around the sun. And how did they come into existence? When a star came near the sun and it raised a huge tide on the surface of some sun. As it came nearer and nearer, the tides on the surface of sun rose higher and higher and make a fountain. Because of the power of attraction, these 
um, this mountain was torn apart. It was torn into pieces. These pieces are called planets, and our Earth is one of them. So easy is to, so easy is to discuss and understand and learn the existence of Earth. So now get your, take your assignment, and do it with the proper responsibility. Today you have just learned four questions of this lesson and a few synonyms that I will share with you. So I need a. We we hope that all of you would would show your proper response to us. Best of luck. Have a nice day. Have a nice life. God bless you forever. Be happy all the time.